So eventually animals are going to start realizing that they are much stronger than us and take over. And no, I'm not talking about monkeys like Planet of the Apes. You guys remember when I talked about dolphins who were injuring people in Japan? Well, now it's packs of otters attacking joggers in Malaysia. According to the New York Post, a jogger was left bloodied, dazed, and crying after getting mauled by a gang of otters. Now, something like this shouldn't be as big a surprise as it is. If you guys remember, Snoop Dogg did a voiceover for a video where a group of otters gang up on a fucking alligator and win. Is there mongooses? This lady is lucky to be alive if I'm being honest because we are nothing to a fucking alligator. And of course my video will get restricted if I show you a picture of this lady, but it looks like she was attacked by a dog or like someone with a weapon attacked her and she barely got away. I don't want to make fun of it, but she did pee her pants, that's all I'm gonna say, but they could have at least done her the favor of cropping that out. But if you were to show this picture to someone, they would for sure think that this lady was in the wrong part of town, which I guess you could say that is what happened. She went into this otter's hood thinking shit was sweet until she got rolled up on, ate deep, and was taught a lesson she will never forget. What is that lesson? You go ask the otters, I'm not. What is funny is the way they talk about these otters. Like in one part it says, investigations found that the beasts which reportedly lived nearby had entered the park to forage for food in the pond. Now beast is a bit of a stretch when you're talking about an otter. Like I'm sure I would be scared too if I was getting attacked. But if you get attacked by like a cat or a dog, you don't call them a beast. A bear is a beast. These are little fuckers. Or like they have this picture that they captioned, one of the furry assailants. Like someone is going to be able to specifically identify this otter from the ones that attacked this lady. And I know otter attacks on humans aren't that common for someone to be able to like, well that wouldn't happen to me. But I mean, they're like this big and judging by the way they scamper, I feel like if worse comes to worse, I can just outrun them. I also feel like a few kicks would hurt them. And oh my god, it says the giant otter can get up to seven feet. I have never asked for an animal to be extinct before, but I think a seven foot otter is something that we cannot let happen. And not to mention, this isn't the first time these sons of bitches did something like this. Back in 2021, a man said he was bitten 26 times and thought he was going to die. And then back in 2019, one of them attacks a family dog in Alaska. Otters are low key moving up in the food chain and we are doing nothing to stop it. They are getting a taste for flesh and we are turning a blind eye to it. I will say though, if you're like, OMG, why would this little cute otter do such a thing? That's because it wouldn't. That is a sea otter. The ones attacking people are the ugly river otters, who are like the more aggressive cousin nobody likes to invite to the family gathering because they always start a fight. But yeah guys, two short videos today instead of a video tomorrow because I have physical therapy because look at this, look at this wrist. I can't even bend it as much as this one. And also, because my brother is fat and will not do anything himself, so I have to go over to his house and drop something off because, God forbid, he gets up and does it himself. Until then, see you guys Friday. Peace.